A great way to deal with DDTs is to take away their speed, and the best way to do this is with a 025 Ice Monkey. This guy will slow the DDTs down to a halt, making them very easy to pop. You can also do this with a Super Glue, but Ice Cone Pails are much more flexible and helpful in runs. Some less expensive slows are 040 Ninjas, a 013 Glue Gunner, and 420 Snipers. These are typically used as supporting towers that can really help out your damage dealers when the DDTs come. Next, we have some towers that will insta-kill DDTs, and these are the Permaspect Factory and the Preemptive Strike Submarine. Both of these are pretty expensive, but completely pop DDTs, making them non-factors. It is worth mentioning that the Preemptive Strike Sub is not common as it is hard to build, but the Permaspect Factory has many strats built around it as it is one of the best towers in the game. But some of the three best towers for general DDT damage are the Archmage, Mad, and Spike Storm. The Archmage's main attack does over 175 damage per second to DDTs, melting them in just a few seconds, and the Mad pops DDTs in one hit, but both of these guys struggle against the ceramics that come out afterwards so you'll need some support for those and the spike storm's ability is amazing damage for ddt's especially for how cheap it is just make sure that you cross path it as a 240 so it can pop lead balloons but those are the best ways to slow and pop ddt's what did the banana do when he saw the monkey the banana split